Welcome back everybody. The heavy hitters are starting to put out all of their Halloween merchandise, so let's see if Walmart's going to knock it out of the park. They do have a good array of inflatables on display. Really like that inflatable tree. That ghost face is really creepy. But they have all sorts, witches and cats and Disney. There's even Nightmare Before Christmas there on the end. Then we've got some more generic things like a little reaper. A little pumpkin, a little cutesy inflatables. But here we can take a look at the boxes. There are several more that they have available that aren't on display. That little bat's kind of cute. And they also have a wide vari variety of sizes. And of course then prices. So looks like, oh I love this one on the end, that little crawling pumpkin thing. So it looked like it was um, ranging from $14.99 to, well, basically $30, bucks, $40. Bucks. Then down here, of course, we have our inflatable dragon. $100. Bucks. This awesome Nightmare Before Christmas sign. And then the tall inflatables down here at the bottom. They've got a pretty good price on these, $60. Bucks. Different take on that sort of weird ghoulish woman. And then we've got a couple of decor items stuck in there so let's go ahead and take a look starting with this outdoor decor the zombie pink flamingo that's become a little overdone at this point I think everyone's trying to cash in on that joke we have a few um, tombstones they come in like this is a four pack here and then we've got a little um, reaper man or skeleton man whose eyes light up a groundbreaker I guess there's one of those pictures that will light up. I'm not going to press the button because we've seen that in several other videos. Their pumpkins are... I don't know why they're in plastic bags here. They're a little hard to see, but there they are. It's probably a bad thing. Give children their idea to put their heads in bags. <laughs> but we've got some fog machines. There's some blood. That blood is very staining. It gets on everything and takes forever to dry do have some outdoor lawn stakes, some window clings, and the little leaf lawn bags. I still buy those on occasion. It reminds me of my childhood. I love those. The simpler times. Of course, the doorbell that everyone has as well. Decorative fence. You can get that cheaper at the Dollar Tree. Some more tombstones. Kind of undersized in my opinion. Not really worth it. Spiders. Can never go wrong with spiders. They've got a good variety of colors. Love this little mister. What was that? It looked like it was about $14, I think. Some creepy baby doll heads. And then we get into the skeleton areas again. Check out your dollar stores for these sort of things. There's no reason to pay more than a dollar for them. Got some slime for some reason hidden in there. And some more. I'm assuming they're going to be getting more of those light up pumpkins. I always like these little climbing ghouls. <laughs> these are kind of neat. I actually made some glow in the dark ghosts last year out of Dollar Tree materials, but it might just be cheaper to buy them here for four bucks than waste all the time and effort to make your own. I never like these little skeletons. Unless you're doing some sort of small display, it makes no sense to me. Door knocker. This one doesn't work, but I just happened to have one of those in my last thrift store haul you can check out. And some sort of hanging ghouls and clowns and so forth. These look to be about three feet tall. Again, too undersized for my taste. I do like these little welcome signs, though. It looks like there's quite a variety of types. Pumpkins and skeletons and a witch. If you're looking for lighting, Walmart's got you covered. Lots of string lights in all different colors and types. You've even got some of these fire and ice bulbs. Those give a nice ethereal effect to a lot of your displays. And the whirl of motion, of course. I don't like these at all because I don't think they light up nearly bright enough. It has to be very dark for you to see those. 
like garland lights and your novelty lights pumpkins and skulls don't buy black lights here in the halloween section go to the lighting section where you can get real black lights the stuff that they sell here is garbage and i've seen these in several stores this year too gel clings my usual disclaimer be careful what you put those on because they will stain not sure what that is just some decorative wall art i guess some wall bats you can put up and nice big tempting beware gel beware if you use it some signage I like that boo not exactly sure what these things are just little decorative tchotchkes some bubbly things solar bubbly things lots of different varieties this guy's kind of cute some hanging tinsels spiders tea lights and little pumpkins some battery operated ones that are hiding in the back you've got your party supplies banners and whatever <laughs> we have some plates different designs again you can get these sort of things also at the Dollar Tree but they do have some nice variety 98 cents for eight plates Not exactly sure how much they are at the Dollar Tree so might just be as well to get them here if you want to get some along with that flask there or some little plastic trays and with a little bit more elegance here at the bottom and then just some cups and again various designs oh here's some glass ones those are kind of nice but everything else is just sort of the plastic. For carving your pumpkin, you can buy lots of different tools. They've got a lot of interesting new things that you can put in, like different kinds of lighting. There's a three-in-one light. Sorry, I guess you can have it on or blink or I don't know what that is, just a yellow light maybe. I do like these eyes. That save you some carving effort. I hate carving pumpkins. I just buy the light up plastic ones now. Keeps everything simple. And I don't have to keep buying pumpkins every year. But if I were, I could use these silly faces instead of carving them. There was a unicorn one. Do you believe that? I do like this. Look, you make a little skeleton, man. I have what they call a gift section if you want to give somebody some plushes. Black cats and pumpkins and candy corn. I like these mugs though that come with a little um, plush guy in it. Witches and black cats also and pumpkins. And this guy in the back is kind of cute, a little skeleton. Death before decaf. <laughs> Ugh. I guess they'll just take a unicorn, throw some rib you know, rib bones on it, and now it is Halloween. This is a horror section. Is that guy horror? I don't know. What about him? Frankenstein. Aha, here's Freddy Krueger. That must be who they're talking about. And of course, Harry Potter. I'm not sure how Halloween he is, but here's Disney too. You can get Mickey Mouse dressed up as a vampire. If you're having a party, you can buy your invitations here. Be sure to put your toilet cover on, though, for your guests. What kind of you in it's an interesting idea. It's kind of cute. Not something I would do, though. I would, however, buy this giant set of teeth to put my candy in. That's kind of neat. You kids aren't going to want to reach in there. Some more plushes. I love the cemetery sign. It's metal. And I guess there is a morgue sign as well. I might have to go back and buy that. Fog machine again. And there's some sort of rubber placemats and a skull and crossbones. Or there is a table runner. And your soap to go along with your table settings. You can get spider webbing and glow in the dark. 
or green or regular. Regular being white, I guess. And pumpkin or pumpkin trick or treat pails or bags that are reflective. I like that little. There is another unicorn. But there's a skeleton too and a pumpkin. And if you're trick or treating, you might want some light up rings and lights and fingertip things or just glow sticks. I loved glow sticks when I was a kid. That was the best part of Halloween is lighting up that glow stick and watching it glow all night. Now they have so many different varieties and colors. When I was growing up, it was like that yellow. That's all you had, yellow. Here are some more of those metal signs. Love all of these. And I think this is a good price. Usually I will just print these things out and like if I'm having them indoors, just tape it on the wall. It looks like a sign. You know, you don't really need it to be a metal sign. You can save a lot of money yourself, but it's only five bucks. It might save you some effort. Lots and lots of different signs. So many they have to put different kinds behind them. Very vintage looking. That's kind of nice. It, that might be my favorite one. Tucked in the back there. Haunted house ahead. You can also get some pillows. A lot of different... These actually are nice pillows for six bucks. I was kind of surprised. They move into some costumes. They have licensed kid costumes. And for Walmart that pretty much means Disney. You have Disney and I think a couple maybe Marvel superheroes hiding in there. I'm not sure why the bolt cap is there. But he's... Hiding some Mickey ears, I guess. We won't look at all of these. We'll just take a glance at the highlights that they're displaying. But again, there's a superhero one. Or you could be Woody or Aladdin or Ariel. Or Superman or Wonder Woman. Batgirl. I think that was a girl. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. So, although it does seem to be mostly Disney, there is a bit of variety in there. Then for non-licensed costumes, you can be a generic deer. Or a vampire or some sort of candy girl. Or ice cream queen. That's kind of a stretch, but okay. Ghost Bride, getting a little creepier. More Halloween, in my opinion. Now, Walmart just opened. If you wait a couple of weeks, this aisle will be completely trashed. So, for best selection, you might want to go early. Oh, I love this zombie outfit. And maybe that clown. You know, you can buy these little costumes to put on your skeletons. They're pretty good size for that. Or, you know, just make your own little creepy monster out of these costumes. A couple of adult costumes, or maybe just like older teen, I'm not sure. Woman, woman. <laughs> And we have some odd full-size pajama type costumes. Nothing I would want to wear myself, but to each his own. I did, however, buy every single one of these shirt designs, because if you watch my videos, you know I like to wear them. They're only six bucks each. There were, I admit, a couple of them that I passed in the women's section as I was walking by, but I did not get a good look or any video on them. I'm sorry, I think I only saw two different designs. But you can get some accessories to go with your outfit. Or, you know, if you're an adult, I guess they expect you to build your own out of these accessories. No clue what all this stuff is down there. Are those caves? <laughs> but they have lots of little masks.
Oh, I love this choker. That looks nice. Some hats. If you want to be a witch. Or you could be a bunny. Or a bee. Or a unicorn, of course. Some butterfly wings. You can have wigs of all different types look, even a unicorn wig. Which is a rainbow wig with a horn sticking out of the top. I guess there is no escaping that unicorns have invaded Halloween this year. Much to my dismay. Hopefully some of these fun masks will redeem the store here. I like these light up masks. Those look kind of neat in the dark. It's kind of hard to see in the video though, but, but they do light up. These doll masks are really creepy in my opinion. Love those designs. Again, you could buy those to make static props in your Halloween display. Any of these would really be good, especially... Oh, I love this mask. I might need that for my toxic area. We'll see. Here's sort of a Game, and Throne, Game of Thrones inspired pet dragon. I'm surprised we don't see more Game of Thrones merchandise here. There was quite a bit in some other stores. There's your full unicorn mask if you wanted to do that. Now I'm skimming past the makeup. I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure there must be something in here where you can turn yourself into a unicorn. Just keep an eye on that. But you know, you can buy lashes or hair stuff. That's pretty much it for the costumes though. They did have a harvest section for some general fall merchandise. Make sure that you take note. You can buy some hay bales here if you are having a party, want places for people to sit. I do like to decorate with mums a lot in the fall. You know, you can get them cheaply here at the Walmart. The carts here are not a bad price either. These look like they're 98 cents each. You can get two for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but there's something about these cards that do honestly seem just a little bit nicer. And they have a whole lot of them, including a premiere section. This middle one with some jewels looks kind of fun. Or a pop-out wolf. You can also get your pumpkins here. They've just started putting them out. Best selection you can get here with intact stems and your gourds and so forth if you like to decorate with those. Who doesn't? And lastly, there's candy galore. So that'll pretty much do it for Walmart. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see more store walkthroughs. I will check back in with Walmart if they get any other merchandise out, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's it. I don't expect them to get too much more, but we'll see. So until then, guys, take care and happy haunting.